One, two, three, we're live. We're on Facebook. Hello everybody, this is Dr. Peter Khan. It's Monday, September 11th, 2017, and uh, this is the 70... 72. Two, 72nd episode of the Ask Dr. Khan Show. And I want to welcome to our live stream show on Facebook. Uh, this is also uh, going to be on Instagram. Uh, we have Instagram story going, and also this will be recorded, so we're going to post to our YouTube channel. If you are, you are our YouTube follower, I thank you so much for watching our uh, content and video. Hopefully this is useful to you. I promise you today it's going to be a like an epic show, man. I'm going to give you the roadmap. Do you suffer from low energy, weight gain that you just can't lose despite eating healthy? Do you suffer from brain fog and lethargy? I mean, this is probably three of the most common symptoms that I hear, right? Weight gain or inability to lose it, weight loss resistance, right? You're eating healthy, you follow a, you know, an eating plan of some type, you eat nothing, you're on hormone replacement, you still can't lose weight. That weight loss resistance. This is something that we see all the time. People come in, I haven't been able to lose weight for five years. Boom, within a month, they lose 10 pounds under our program because we're actually addressing the root cause. I'm gonna give you the roadmap to how we do that today on the show, okay? Also, low energy. Weight gain and low energy kind of go hand in hand. So a lot of people start Googling thyroid problems. They have thyroid problems. And that's why we get a lot of clients that come to us and really our practice 90% of people have thyroid issues. That's basically what we do all day, every day. But not everybody with weight gain or inability to lose weight and low energy have a thyroid problem. Sometimes people think they have a thyroid problem, but they actually have something else going on that's causing low energy fatigue and inability to lose weight. And then you also have brain fog. So brain fog means you're foggy headed, you can't focus, you can't concentrate, you have some memory loss, maybe you even lose words. Maybe you feel lethargic, you're not motivated. So these three symptoms are the number one symptoms, the top three symptoms that I see in my office with clients day in and day out. Doesn't matter what they have, whether they have thyroid problem, they have digestive issues, they have autoimmune disease. This always shows up, right? For almost everybody, very common. So what is the, what, what's causing these problems? Well, at the base of it is that you have some breakdown in your bodily systems, right? There are multiple causes. There's not one cause. It's not like everybody with weight gain or weight loss resistance is all caused by one problem, thyroid. Not necessarily so, not for everyone. Not everybody with low energy is a thyroid issue. And not everybody with brain fog has thyroid issue. It could be due to multiple causes. So what we wanna do is we wanna have a roadmap. It's so important to have a roadmap, right? If you're trying to build a house, you need a blueprint. You need to know what the house is going to look like so you know where to put it on the plot of, plot of land. You need to know how many you know, two by fours you need, how many screws. You need to have a blueprint. If you're trying to get from here to you know, New York City, you need to have a road map. You need to know what road you're going to take, right? That's going to get you there the fastest, right? Not going round and about, unless your goal is to take the singing route. But if you want to get there fast, you need to know what's the fastest way to get to New York. What roads do you take? Where are the stops along the way? Where your gas stations are? Where do you stay you know, in a hotel? So that you know how you're going to get there safely. You need a road map for your health. And most people don't have a road map because doctors are not, not trained to take people on a road map to health. They're not trained to be a detective to be able to find out what's the fastest way. Because what, how doctors are trained are they're trained to treat symptoms. See, Western medicine is a medicine that specializes in treating symptoms with drugs and surgery. And that's good for certain situations, right? like acute medical crisis. That's great. If you have a symptom, they can cover it up with a drug. That's okay. So there's sometimes you need to cover up a symptom so you feel okay, so you can function. But covering up a symptom is not the same thing as getting you to the destination, which is optimal health, right? We wanna, we wanna be, have great metabolism, right? We wanna be able to lose weight, we wanna be, have control over our body. Hey, I do X and I get this body, right? If you do X and you get nothing, it's really frustrating. You wanna have great energy, energy to do what you wanna do in life, right? You wanna be able to 
You know, today I like to go hike. You just get up and go. Today I like to go out with my friends. You just get up and go. I got three sports I got to take my kids to. I just get up and go. You can do it, and you do it with zeal and happiness because you got energy. And you also want to have mental clarity, right? Not feeling like you're getting like early Alzheimer or dementia or something. Like you can't focus, you can't think, you can't remember things. You're afraid that you can't do your job well. You know, you just you have mood issues. I mean, you want to be able to feel great, but you need a map to get there. You can't just like, well, what do I take for weight gain? There's not a magic pill. You have to follow a map, a sequence. What do I take for low energy? There's not a pill. You got to understand how to get there. And it depends on where you're coming from, right? So to get to, let's just say for New York, for example, that's your destination. Well, to get to New York from Minnesota, you're gonna have to take a different route than get to New York from Texas. Does that make sense? You're gonna have to have a different map. So it depends on where you're starting from. What's the cost for these problems? Where you're starting from, and then you're gonna have a different map compared to somebody else. But still, there has to have a map or sequence that logically takes you there. And you have some kind of matrix that you can measure along the way to tell you how far you're getting to your destination. Like I said, medical medicine today is not trained to show you the roadmap. It's trained to show you like a spot, right? It's like treating a symptom. It's like, okay, here's a road, you know, here's take this road. But we don't know where that road ends up. We just know that, hey, just get, get on some kind of road. Let's push this pathway by taking this drug. Let's just get going. Where are we going? Don't know, but just go. That's not a good way to get you to where you want to be, okay? But that's how medicine is practiced. So let me show you the roadmap today. I'm so excited to share this video with you. This is basically like what we do. This is our pillar content. This is what we do with our clients. This is our philosophy that sets us apart from all other doctors and health practitioners and nutritionists and whatever it is. There's a there's a roadmap that's leading to our success. And you can see all our success stories at AskDrCon.com. There are over 100 video testimonials of people who's been everywhere, tried everything, tried all the diet, taken all the supplements, taking all the medications. Nothing's worked until they can come and see us. So let me show you the roadmap, okay? So in this roadmap, we have to start with what's called foundations. We have to build the foundations of health before you can get to your destination. That means you have to gas up your car, you have to pack your luggage, you got to make sure you got all your supplies in the car before you take off. That's the foundations of your health, okay? So the foundation is fuel delivery, right? You got to be able to deliver fuel to your body, to your cells. Every single cell in your body runs on energy. Without cellular energy, if your brain cells don't have energy, you're going to be brain foggy. If your muscle cells don't have energy, you're going to feel weak. Okay? If your thyroid cells don't have energy, it can't do what it's supposed to do. If your liver cells don't have energy, it can't detox properly. You need energy delivery into your body, especially to your brain. So fuel delivery is important. So how do we build up this fuel delivery? Well, that's where your blood sugar comes in. We've got to have proper blood sugar level. And that proper blood sugar level is not what you think. If you say, well, my blood sugar is good, my doctor never mentioned anything about my blood sugar, all that means is you don't have diabetes yet. <laughs> but it doesn't mean your blood sugar is perfect. Your blood sugar has to be just right in order for you to be able to deliver fuel to your, to your body properly. And if you have low blood sugar, that's just as bad as high blood sugar. Both are detrimental to your health. You're not going to have the foundation for delivering fuel to your cells. So blood sugar is really important. The other thing is you got to have proper oxygenation oxygen okay so that's not just from breathing but also you cannot be anemic right if you have anemia chronic anemia you're also going to be oxygen deprived number three is you're going to have have to have proper blood pressure right pressure in your hose you got to have pressure in your blood vessels to push blood to your tissue if you have low blood pressure then you're not going to be able to deliver fuel, right? There's not enough pressure in the hose to push the blood to your tissue. You're going to get poor oxygenation. You're also not going to feel very good. You're not going to have that foundation to heal. So proper fuel delivery is so important. The next priority on the foundation here is inflammation. Okay, so we're going to draw this out here. Immune function, uh, inflammation. Uh, let's write this, immune function, okay? 
You gotta have proper immune function. Why? Because your immune system is what protects you. It's what detects foreign invaders, pathogens, bacteria, viruses, and so forth. So your immune system has to be functioning properly in order for you to have that foundation. Without proper defense, your body just be susceptible to whatever that comes. So this immune function is really important. So how do we look at immune function? We'll look at inflammation level. You see, inflammation is an immune function. People think like inflammation, like what is that? Like I bang my elbow and so now it's swollen. That's my elbow's inflamed, right? Well, that inflammation is controlled by your immune system. Inflammation is an immune function. So if you have a lot of inflammation, that means your immune system is being overactive. It's being triggered by something. So inflammation is really important to address. And if you're inflamed, that's going to affect your fuel delivery as well because inflammation is known to compromise mitochondrial function. And mitochondria is what makes ATP, makes energy. So we got to control that inflammation. That also comes into looking at infections. We got to look at underlying infections, and you can have chronic viruses, gut infections like SIBO, you can have parasitic infections, you can have chronic candida or yeast issues that can compromise your immune system. And then we also got to look at autoimmune. Autoimmune itself is a problem with your immune system because it's your own immune system attacking your own body. So if you have Hashimoto's, that's an autoimmune thyroid disease where the immune system is attacking your thyroid, leading to low thyroid symptoms. If you have immune system attacking your joints, you have rheumatoid arthritis. If you have immune system attacking your brain, you have MS. If you have immune system attacking your intestine lining, you have celiac or Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. So your immune system, if it's attacking yourself, we need to control that. We need to modulate that autoimmunity. Get your immune system to stop attacking your body. That'll improve your immune function, therefore decrease inflammation, and help you with fuel delivery, right? So this is stacked on top of each other. There's a sequence to this roadmap. Remember, today's show is all about the roadmap to health, okay? To help with weight gain, low energy, and brain fog. We're talking about roadmap here today, okay? This is so important. If you're watching this, uh, please tell your friends about this. I mean, this is so important that you've got to understand the roadmap. So there's a sequence to it. We've got to start with fuel delivery, which is blood sugar, oxygen, and blood pressure. Then we've got to look at immune function, which is controlling inflammation, look at underlying infections, and rule out autoimmunity or to control that. The next step to your roadmap is nutrient absorption. Nutrient absorption. Why? Because if you can't digest the food that you eat, then you can't deliver energy to your body, right? So you have to be able to absorb nutrients. So this is where we're talking about leaky gut. We gotta make sure you have proper enzyme production and HCL, hydrochloric acid production. You gotta have proper digestive juices and enzymes in order to absorb food. We're looking at leaky gut. And then, uh, so the, the nutrient absorption is primarily happening in several places in your, in your mouth, really, in your brain, nutrient absorption in your brain? Yes, because your brain has to fire down to your gut through the vagus nerve to stimulate digestive juice production. Some people have decreased brain function, so they're not able to get that neurological message from the brain to the gut, therefore they're not digesting. So to facilitate digestion really starts with proper mindset when you're eating. You cannot eat when you're stressed. You can't eat when you're in a rush. You cannot digest food properly. So you have to like sit down and relax, put on some nice music and eat with good company and not be rushed or stressed. So eating digestion starts in the brain. And then you gotta have proper absorption through the enzymes. You gotta make sure you don't have leaky gut, which is a chronic inflammation of the gut lining. So nutrient absorption is the next step. After nutrient absorption, we're gonna have detoxification. So you gotta do this in priority sequence, okay? So the next step is detox. So you don't do the detox first if you're anemic and your blood sugar sucks, right? You gotta start here working your way up, okay? Because the goal is here. This is your goal. You gotta work your way up. So with detox, we gotta look at liver and gallbladder function and kidney function because detoxification happens in those areas, liver, gallbladder, kidney. 
I would ask skin as well. Uh, and then we gotta look at underlying toxicity. Keep in mind our environment is toxic, right? We live in a toxic environment with pesticides, herbicides, food preservatives, that's just stuff that you eat. How about the stuff that you breathe, right? From air pollution to stuff that's, stuff that's off-gassing from your furniture, from nail polish. If, you, if you're a lady, you get your nails done, you're breathing all the stuff. You, you breathe in more toxin than you actually ingest. And the stuff that you put on your skin, the personal care product, health and beauty aids, these things also contains a lot of chemicals. So we just live in a toxic environment and that chronic accumulation of these toxins undermines our ability to detox and the toxin accumulation start to poison our body, affecting mitochondria, affecting energy delivery, affecting our insulin receptors, causing insulin resistance. So we must improve detoxification. That's the next step, okay? But you gotta do it in a sequence. The next step after detoxification is hormone. Hormone balance. So the hormone comes here. You see, there's multiple steps before you even get to the hormones. So the hormones, what happens is many times when you go to doctors who are, you know, hormone replacement therapy clinics, right? You go to these, you know, natural doctors. The first thing they do is, oh, you have low energy? Well, let me give you some hormones, right? Oh, you have, uh, you can't lose weight. Let me give you some hormones. Their answer is hormones. But guess what? If your blood sugar sucks and you're, you're anemic, you have infection and you're inflamed and you're not digesting food well and you're full of toxins, what's taking hormone going to do to fix all these issues that's pr prior to the step? Exactly. Nothing. Not a thing. So you can take testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, DHEA, cortisol, whatever you're taking, it ain't going to do a thing. Thyroid hormone, it doesn't work because... I manage people with thyroid conditions, and I can't tell you how many people are taking thyroid hormone but still feel lousy. I still can't lose weight, still have low energy, because it has nothing to do with the thyroid hormones, or any hormones for that matter. It has to do with the foundation. You gotta have a roadmap, you gotta do it in sequence. Start with food delivery, working your way up. So the hormone is the later step, not the first step. Then, after hormones, then we have brain. Now, when I say brain, I mean specifically neurotransmitters because really all along here, the brain function has got to be working to help support all these different steps. But when I say brain up here, I mean neurotransmitters because what a lot of people do is they say, well, I have depression, so I'm going to take 5-HTP and St. John's wort because these are a supplement that help with serotonin, so that's going to help me with my depression. Well, you're skipping a few steps here. Because for you to make neurotransmitter like serotonin, you have to have proper oxygen level. If you're anemic, you cannot make serotonin. <laughs> if you have blood sugar imbalance, you cannot make serotonin. If your digestion is compromised, you can't absorb B12 and folate, and therefore you can't methylate, you cannot make neurotransmitters. So a lot of people, these healthcare practitioners or nutrition people, they're doing neurotransmitter testing. Forget about it. you got to start down here work your way up. If you start with by taking neurotransmitter support right off the bat, it won't work if these other steps are not working. Got to do it in sequence, okay? But the brain is actually playing a role all along right here. Why? Because remember I said your brain affects blood pressure. Where do you think blood pressure is coming from? Your brain controls that blood pressure through the pontal medullary reticular formation your brain fires down to your brainstem, and that brainstem controls autonomic function, which is everything that's on autopilot. The blood pressure is controlled by the brain automatically. So you've got to have proper brain function for that. Your immune function, your brain and your immune system are linked together. There's a field of study called psychoneuroimmunology. That means how the brain and the immune system and your mindset affects immune function. So if you're stressed, your immune system is going to go down. So your brain and your immune system is intimately related. There's actually a term called neural inflammation. That means when you're stressed and you're getting into this fight or flight state, you can actually trigger inflammation from just be thinking about stress. And you trigger an actual physical inflammatory response by you mentally being stressed out. So the brain affects immune function. The brain affects nutrient absorption. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve from your brain, showing your brain stem, innervate the gut. So if your vagus are not firing properly, then you're not going to be able to secrete digest, uh, digestive enzymes, 
Also, your gastric motility slows down, so you're not going to be able to push food through your GI tract for absorption and bowel elimination. Your brain also, through the vagus nerve, innervate the liver and the gallbladder, so your uh, ability to contract the gallbladder is going to be compromised. You're going to get biliary stasis. That means your gallbladder or your bile becomes sludged, and that can start to form stones and gallstones. So your brain is also affecting hormone balance. Your brain fires down through the hypothalamus pituitary axis to stimulate adrenal gland hormone production. So here are people taking adrenal supplements. To oh, I have I've been told I have adrenal fatigue. So you take adrenal supplements, but the hypothalamus and the pituitary and the brain is ignored. You got to address the brain if you want to balance your hormones. And then the neurotransmitter itself. Again, it all depends on brain. So the brain is kind of like underlying all of it. But specifically, a lot of people make the mistake of taking neurotransmitter supplements first when that should be done kind of toward the end, okay? And then, you know, we can layer on fitness at the end. That's the pinnacle, right? Because if you're not healthy, how are you going to be fit? A lot of people say, well, I have weight problems and I have energy issues, so I must go to the gym and beat myself up in the gym and kill myself in the gym so I can get healthy. No, you got to get healthy first so that you can build this foundation of health, and then you can layer the fitness on top of it. You can't get fit to get healthy. You gotta get healthy and then layer the fitness on top of it. So that's what we do, weight training, right? We can do other things like that. So this is a roadmap. You gotta do things in, start with a foundation. There's a sequence to how you do this, but this is another key here. People will be like, well, let me just do this step by step. Guess what? There's also a thing called priority. Priority means the priority for you may be different than the priority for somebody else, okay? Remember I, earlier I said, for you to get to New York, the roadmap from Minnesota to get to New York is different than the roadmap to get from Texas to New York, right? It depends on where you're starting from, and that determines your priority. Maybe you're somebody who has a lot of inflammation, and you have autoimmune disease. Well, guess what? Then your priority, where your roadmap, where you're starting from is, we got to start with that first because that's the most important thing for you. Okay? But maybe for somebody else, some of you, you may have blood sugar issues and you're anemic. Then that will be a priority. Now, if you have both blood sugar issue and anemia and you have inflammation and autoimmune, where do you start? You start with the, low, the foundation, the stuff that's the foundation first. So you'll start with oxygen and blood sugar and work your way up. So that's how you choose your priority. And now how do you do that? The biggest thing with it, all this, it's gotta be measured, right? You gotta have some matrix. What a matrix? It's stuff that you measure, right? You have to have some baseline measurement of where you're starting and then repeat measurements along the road to see if you're off track, right? Like a GPS taking you to your destination. If you start going to New York from California and you're off track, you started heading to Texas, well, you gotta change course. That's what repeat measurement does because the body is very complicated. It's not like you do X, it'll always do you know, Y because everybody's a little bit different. So we have to measure this and see how your body does and be able to change our protocol match what your body needs. So that's where measurement comes in. So the alamine is there's gonna have to be a foundation we got to build your foundation first. And then there's a sequence to how we ascend to get to where you want, which is great metabolism, weight loss, great energy, and great mental clarity. Those top three complaints that I hear from most of our clients, and maybe you or someone you want suffer from weight loss resistance, low energy, and brain fog. And just nothing you do is working, despite going to different practitioners, taking different supplements, taking different medications. Because the roadmap is not followed. So here's our roadmap starting with the foundation, following a specific sequence, measuring along the way, have matrix, and then be able to assign priority to what's going on with you. If you, you know, maybe start with fuel delivery or somebody else may have to start with nutrient absorption, but always go with the, the, the most common denominator or the most important foundation, which start with fuel delivery. So hopefully that helps you to make sense of your health. Uh, we have some uh, people here I want to give shout out to. Marie, good to see you on the show. And we have Razvin, good to see you from Romania. And uh, we have Michelle Brown and we have Ty Lee, my sister. Thank you for joining us. And uh, Christina, 
Thank you for... Okay, thanks for tagging your family uh, on Instagram. Appreciate it. So hopefully this helps you. Now, to help you further, I created a little opt-in form that you can, you can get more information if you like. So you can type in this link, and I'll put it on Facebook as well. And uh, you can go to type in this on your browser. It's a bit.ly link slash health road map. I don't know if you can see that, bit.ly slash health roadmap. I'll put that on our Facebook, on this uh, post after we're done with the show. You can click on that. It'll take you to uh, our website. And you can put in your name and email, and that way I can send you information, more information on how this roadmap works and how we may be able to help you with getting great energy, lose weight, get leaner, have great metabolism, have better brain function. So hopefully this helps you. Remember, this Tuesday, we have a in-office workshop. Is that on thyroid? We have a thyroid solution workshop this Tuesday at 5.30. If you haven't been to our in-office workshop, you're missing out on a great experience. A learning experience It's fun, it's entertaining, but you'll learn tons of great info. Uh, that's Tuesday at 5.30. You can register at askdrkhan.com slash thyroid, or you can call 480-988-6269 to register. Just so you know, if you need help, we're just a phone call away. Call us or email us. If you need help with this roadmap, you need somebody to take you through this process to help you get your health back, we can help you. Just give us a call. We'll be more than uh, happy to talk to you and discuss your situation with you and see if our core program can help you. Okay, so take us up on it. Use us as your, as your support, as your guide. Use us as your, you know, that, that person that's going to consult with you and, and have your best interest in mind. So call us, 480-988-6269. We do help uh, clients all over North America and all over the world, in fact, uh, through Skype and phone consultation. So we can do it through video conferencing. So it doesn't matter where you are in the United States. If you need help, you can call us. We can just set up for a case review, and we'll be able to take you on your road to through the roadmap and help you get better. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Khan. We'll see you next Monday at the Ask Dr. Khan Show. Take care.